welcome to my page aqua star goddess today i want to talk to you guys about the uh ancestor money kit that i do offer on my website i want to talk to you guys just about ancestor money and dealing with your ancestors with this uh, method in general i am going to share with you the process that i take and some of the different um materials that you can use to complete this process it can be a daily ritual for you it could be a um, mor morning and evening ritual for you it could be a weekly ritual a monthly ritual I, I actually think it's probably better to do it more often like if you're gonna do it once a week then okay stick to your once a week day but um, I actually saw a lot of a lot of benefit when I was doing my uh, ancestor altar and dealing with my ancestors on a daily regular basis now let's go ahead and let's talk about why we use this why why is this important why why do I think this is extremely important, especially if you are, um, in my opinion, like I'm not saying to anybody that this isn't for everybody. This is absolutely for everybody. But if you're African or if you're American, if you're African American, this is for you, boo. Okay, you want to do this because this is going to help you in so many different ways. And let's talk about it. So it said that, you know, it said that people who burn ancestor money okay are sending it's sort of like sending libations or you know remember um like i know a lot of you guys know when you see somebody pouring a drink out for all the dead homies or whatever that's libation so that's basically giving them a drink right giving them a drink in their spiritual aspects for those who have already passed on um and so it, it's it's believed or it is in my opinion it's proven right <laughs> it's believed that when you uh, burn ancestor money you can be um, helping to get rid of karmic debt you can burn ancestor money to help your ancestors have money spirit you're sending them spiritual money you're sending them spiritual abundance you're you're sending them you know spiritual wealth and this can help them in their current realm or in their current life or whatever they're currently doing or wherever they're currently are so this also helps to clear karmic debt which can be important because just as in real life when a family member passes on and they have debt let's just say they have a bunch of debt now a lot of times there are cases where you can you know have that debt removed but there are many many situations where someone's debt when they pass on it passes on to their living relatives okay and so what you can do with the ancestor money is burn this ancestor money and it helps to remove some of that debt right so as you do it more as you do it daily as you do it monthly as you do it weekly you are removing karmic debt um, you know that maybe some of your ancestors or your your grandparents your grandpas your uncles your aunt, your cousins you know your baby cousin that passed away you know you could be removing some of their karmic debt by burning this money now in addition to that what you're doing is you're also taking care of them in the spirit realm right so when you take care of your ancestors your family members those have passed on in the um you know they could they could pass recently or have been gone you know hundreds of years when you are taking care of them in their spiritual realm and their spiritual forms they will do things to help you in the physical realms now i know y'all probably some of y'all gonna be like girl bye right <laughs> like this girl crazy but let me tell you something i have had some amazing things happen since i have started to use the rituals and using ancestor money using a uh, burning joss paper uh just burning this um, you know paper money to you know pay homage to my ancestors and I have noticed some amazing amazing shifts and things that are happening and also if I need help with something so you know if there's somebody that's you know bothering me or getting on my nerves or somebody that's blocking me from doing anything or whatever which is not very often but just you know if, it, if something does happen then I go to my ancestor altar and I talk to my ancestors and let them know what I'm dealing with what the issues are you know they, they speak to to me they send dreams to me and then they also send help in the physical realm so they move things around I will tell you 
recently um, you know some family members were dealing with some some issues with some of the businesses that they were dealing with and when I go to my ancestor altar and I talk to my ancestors um, there's always movement in their in their situations whenever I do that so this is not just for you so you can use ancestor money to affect change in your life and affect change in your family members lives that are connected to that bloodline or even you know you, you can just you because you can always make the intention for any specific person but um you know i noticed that it definitely helps with my bloodline so another thing that you can also do is for instance if you have a family member like for instance my grandmother okay my grandmother sandra when she was living she was a she was a firecracker right so like if <laughs> Anybody come with the anybody come with the problem? She was with the shits, right? <laughs> anybody come with the problem? She was with the shits, right? So let's just say if I'm having a situation that I'm having a hard time dealing with, or there's somebody that I just particularly can't really get through to, you know, and I need a little bit of courage, or I need a little bit of spice, or I need some fight, I can go to my altar and I can talk to my grandma and say, "Hey, grandma, I need some help with this situation. The situation is good," and she will light a fire in my ass to go light a fire in their ass, and shit be done, right? <laughs> care of so you can call upon the energy of your ancestors is what that means right you can call on the energy of your ancestors you can invoke i mean i don't want to say the word invoke because then all the bible thumpers is gonna holler down my throat she's a witch, she's a witch. right <laughs> but you can contact your ancestors and you can have them you know give you the courage you need or give you the words that you need to speak if you're trying to say something to somebody that you really can't say it to they can give you the encouragement they can give you the words that you need to speak in order to be able to affect that change in that department or that situation that you need for so you know there's just so many ways that you can use this now sometimes what you can do um there's different ways to do it but some ways i do it um i do it differently you know sometimes i will write my intentions on here so sometimes um i might just be asking my ancestors for um you know to show me the things that i should be grateful for so i would put gratitude on here right or sometimes i need to get rid of karmic debt so i will put karmic debt you know and i will put to my ancestors known and unknown and i will put karmic debt on here other times i just speak my intentions to my ancestors when i go to my altar to pay respects to them um i just speak my intentions or speak what i'm looking to do or accomplish or you know whatever it is that i want to bring into fruition i speak it and then i burn the ancestor money as an offering so this is an offering so remember when i told i was talking about libations when people pour out the drink and say this is for my dead homies or whatever this is the same thing it's just something that you're taking uh you know the paper money that you're taking which is actually got the jade emperor on here the jade emperor was one of the wealthiest people you know in time and then you take that and you burn it right and you burn that and this is sending off first of all your it can send off your intentions but it can also send off this wealth to your ancestors so that they then in return you know down the line will also bless you in this physical realm as well so you're blessing your ancestors in the spiritual realm and they're blessing you in the physical realm so there's different ways that you can do that but let me go ahead and see if i can find some fire in this piece boy i ain't gonna know it came to this I'm trying to show y'all something i ain't even got no fire hold on oh you know what here we go i got matches i got matches all right, so really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and write, light one of these tea candles and show you guys how to do this. Now, you can burn, you know, as many or as little notes as you want. Um, it really just depends on you and your, your personal, you know, desires. It's, it's sort of a, a personal thing. So you make this personal, you tailor it to your own personal needs, desires, wants, or whatever, and you go based on that. It is totally about your intuitive senses, you know, knowing what your ancestors may possibly need or want because you knew them, right? You knew them when they were here, when they were living, um, and you know them because their DNA, right? Your DNA is in, in their DNA is in your body. So you know your ancestors, right? Because you just know them, right? You, the DNA is in your body, boo. You know them. Like, you ain't got to argue with me because you know them, okay? <laughs> so you're going to take your ancestor money. Again, if you want to write your intentions on there, you can do so. If not, you can speak it into existence. So to so my ancestors, known and unknown, living and not living, I am Shaquayla, daughter of Martisa, daughter of Sandra, daughter of, you know, you can say that if you want, but you can tailor this, again, to your own personal desires and needs. And then you can either light it 
like this or you can fold it up and then light it. I'm gonna fold mine up because I like to fold it. I'm gonna light this up. Now you wanna make sure that this is like near a window or something like that and then you're just gonna let that burn. You're gonna let that sit there and burn. Now oftentimes it's said that if you start to see green when you are burning your ancestor money, that that is a representation that abundance will be coming to you, like financial money will be coming to you. And I'm seeing a lot of green right now while this is burning. And I trust me, I do this a lot. So, hold on. I do this a lot so there are times where I don't see green and there are times where I see green and usually when I see green um, I definitely uh, do come upon a lot of money with that so this, you know what let me do my ritual now since I ain't done it in a minute to my ancestors known and unknown living and not living now when you set up your altar we'll talk about that actually we'll talk about that in another video I just wanted to share this with you guys really quickly because I know there's a lot of people who don't know nothing about it but they're interested and they want to find out what this got to do right what is this to do boo <laughs> <laughs> but I will say this I will say this again I've had amazing amazing results when using my ancestor money and in offerings to my ancestors and by way that family issues have been resolved um, personal issues have been resolved financial issues have been resolved I have had um, you know people who was messing with me and who thought they was about to get away with stuff well karma hit they butt quick boo like <laughs> When I go to my altar, I'm talking to my family members who can see things in the realms that I can't see, right? So I'm talking to them and I'm letting them know my, my issues and my struggles. And I am their daughter. Like I am Shaquayla. I am their bloodline. So they love you and care about you. And you got to know that, okay? So that is all I have for now. I'm sure I'll make plenty more videos about ancestor money, Joss paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like to call it ancestor money and offerings to your ancestors with an ancestor altar. I will talk to you guys about this again, but I definitely wanted to share with you. Um, this is a package that I do again offer on my website. It's also offered on my Etsy site as well. So I offer the Joss paper by itself, the, the, the paper money by itself. And I also offer a kit um, that I've created personally. And this kit was because I knew that, you know, if you're new to this, you're going to need the materials and getting your cauldron, you know, with the lid so you don't burn the house down and so <laughs> so you can keep track of this. And then when you get into it more, you can get a larger one. You know, we do also offer a larger four inch, um, four by four um, cauldron, but this is enough for now to start with. This is enough to start with, but once you get up, once you become a boss and start all saying, oh, I need this work, boo. Once you start needing that work, then you want to get a larger cauldron, which we do offer at aquastargoddess.com. We do also offer um, that on our Etsy shop. I don't know if we have that on Etsy. You know what? I think I only offer this on my website, but that uh, but that's totally fine. You can certainly hit me up to get that. But this is for any person who is really... If you're having a hard time in this physical realm, that might also work for you as well because your ancestors are not just there to, you know, make sure that you, you know, get some extra money. They're also there for you if you are having some emotional, spiritual issues and you need them help, you need their help because you need their eyes. You need their eyes and their understanding from the physical from the physical side that they're on. I'm sorry for the from the spiritual aspect that they're in to help you see things in the physical that maybe you might not be able to see. And um, let me tell you, boo, ancestors do not lie. They don't play and they do come through. OK, so don't play with this. Like <laughs> make sure that when you start doing this method, you you set yourself up a ritual, a daily, weekly, however you decide to do it, because you want to make sure that you stay on track because you want to, first of all, get used to them, get to knowing them. And then um, you're going to start seeing the results. And once you start seeing the results, it's addictive. It's like, oh, shoot, I got to. Hold on a second. Things ain't going right. What about my ancestors? My ancestors probably calling me like Shaquilla Girl Boo. Don't make me send something down there if you keep playing with me. <laughs> send me my money. <laughs> so, you know, again, I hope that this is a great product for you. I hope that you guys understand that this is sort of an ancient traditional art, um, an ancient, you know, African practice where you are giving libations, where you are sending, um, messages and you're speaking to your 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 ancestors that have passed on because they can still communicate with you you know even though they're not here in the physical does not mean that they're not here with you because they are here with you i mean you just have to talk to them you know if you're not talking to them 
you know, you might you might get all they you might block them out with all the TV and all the social media and all the music and all the other stuff that we do. But when you start making this a part of your life, you start making this a part of your your rituals, part of your routines, then you are going to see some changes in many different ways and you're going to build a stronger foundation with your ancestral line, which can do a lot of good for you in this realm. So anyway, guys, I know I didn't talk, talk, talk. I just want to share this with you guys. I hope that you, um, you know, are, are able to, you know, go on the website, get your ancestor money kit, get started today uh, so that you can start seeing the benefits of using this, this method. It is, it works. Okay. I'll see you later.